rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Kenki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of Countless Galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all our eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Sinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armed and epic for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. got Sid, so how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. Can't believe. You have to 
this gets jacked. Good to be the president. picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kinsey, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's the command prompt. Just give me a second. Not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. <gasps> this ain't my first time at the top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Don't put in a space! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security of the Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. But what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a few. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Uh, touche. That's two. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace, and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. Dad, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares.
Watch tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. <laughs> Better you than me. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the lack of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow keeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted food the way to dusty death. Out. Out. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never mind. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. You just keep those reassurances coming. Z, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, 
There is only one true. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. What is the pirate of a raven? <sighs> Oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? Um, hi. All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship.
making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing? Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this, Keith. That landing could have been softer. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find the repair kits in some of the storage crates. Look the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... Uh, no guns? You're killing me, Kinsey! I found your power armor! Guns are just missing stuff! Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh, oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess with a brush. I'll find another door. I can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers, how do I open them? Brute force works. And there are the aliens. You take care of what's there and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kinsey was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? What kind of firepower does that mech have? Yeah, Kinsey said the guns are missing... stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts.
Queen, I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. Don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. It's more than just a gun. All right, let's get to Kenzie.
pulled your ass out of prison, Matt. The least you can do is help protect the ship. Please. If your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. Sure, Keith David would love a crack at this. That is Mr. Keith David to you. I'm not even scratching it. Oh shit, we want mama. Big ship, Kenzie. I'm not sure. Look at us, killing everything in sight. Is this what being a sociopath feels like? Yeah, pretty much. sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and... Oh my god. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. <laughs> 